Good morning. This is Jamal Hosea. Coming with part two. Oh, man. I tell you, so much to say for details and things of that nature. So back to this true light, false light, and this woman thing of being a god in the battle of the sexes. And this, this series is called Shadow of Doubt. Shadows of Doubt. Now, when you look at the minds of the shadow dwellers and the minds of the dark ones, uh, be it skinned, be it dark skinned, uh, what we tell you call dark matter, uh, whether being dark matter in the psychology where things don't matter, so it just stays in the dark. As long as I get what I want, that type of dark matter. Um, we have to ask ourselves, who told you the battle or the war with your own flesh and blood? I mean, with yourself. Male and female are one. Uh, in fact, they help, they need each other because male cannot reproduce himself without the fee <laughs> male. You say, well, why is there a fee male? Because there's a price you have to pay <laughs> or something you have to give up male in order to get the fee male. <laughs> you say, okay, well, let's get this even, let's even dummy it down, wash it down a little bit more. The man has to get with the with something else to create a second uh, another syllable called "woe man." People who like to play with words will say "womb man." You know, let's let's not do that because a man has a womb too, called the hole of the, the hole of his penis. And so through his womb, sperm comes out of that. Just like through a woman's split, nothing comes out of that but secretion. If you see, see, if you pull out, if you stretch the woman's uh, organs out, she would have a penis and, but she wouldn't be able to shoot no sperm. So there's, cause it's not in her body. And the man, if you push his penis into his, into his organs, uh, his limitations of reproduction would be minimal because his shaft is like a rocket ship. It has to shoot out or, or like a gun. It has to shoot out, uh, the life force. It has to come, come out. And so when you see the handshake or the agreement that the most high had, uh, made for man, for humanity to come together as one, Male and male is the same thing in female. They need he needs help. That's why it's called a helpmate. Female, fee helps the male. Female, done. Uh, help me, Lord. Father, grant me permission to keep speaking. Plus, I didn't pray this time because I had prayed in the first segment. But God, my tongue and let Thy Spirit. Uh, uh, carry me through this carry us through this because I'm learning just as well that this may be stamped on my spirit be stamped on other people's spirits so they may be pass this truth path through this truth through the world because they're arguing and killing each other over this false knowledge this false light this dim light father and so the man when it comes to physical interaction that female or male now we're coming to an, an agreement or a reproduction agreement where you have a womb because through the womb of a male's penis, he needs support. And so he has to be willing to pay, he will have to be willing to pay a fee and or share a fee. However else you want to look at that fee. And so the, the male, the man 
has to go to the fee. I mean, to the I mean to the womb to produce a woman. And so he has to go inside of himself and pull himself out. That's why you have a woman. Because the, the, woman, the woman was made from the womb of the man. And so it was guided or given stamp of approval. Boom. Woman. And so the man who has a shaft and the woman who has a womb, which separated the two, was called sperm. That's why he named A-T-O-M, the man. And then he named Eve was the dawn of the man. Meaning the man, it, it had dawned on him that he could produce. So it's a living Adam and a living consciousness or a living dawn or, or wisdom. Because now when you take the... Uh, uh, Nature of creativity is like a seed. And when you take your creativity in your mind and you add it to your wisdom, you bring forth what you call a, 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 a project or a projection, uh, what you call uh, uh, results of that which you created. Uh, and then you, you got this thing called creative juices. You know, and so you have all these creations going on. Or they were what they would call babies. <sighs> Help me, Lord. Woman don't have no authority. She only has wisdom. Think about it. A house without a man is a broken house. Just like uh, Para, the high house or the Pharaoh. Only reason why the Pharaoh female needs a king. Why? Because her wisdom tells her that without any wisdom, I mean, without any authority, it's an empty house. Same thing in the temple or in the church. Without no uh, 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 spirit is an empty building. There is no impregnation of the spirit or of the energy. Same thing with the word uh, pernetta, meaning pyramid. It's called pyramid means para, fire, and mid literally means center. Center of fire. So if there's no center in the fire, then it's not pure fire, a useless fire. There's no, it's not a spiritual fire, so it's empty. Same thing with a tomb. If there's nothing to die or nothing to place in the tomb, then it's an empty what? Tomb. So when you look at the woman as all these things or the mother, it's okay, fine. But without Adam, without energy, it is an empty world. It is a cold world. It is a dismal, dismal world. And so, it's like this. Bang. Once I was in darkness, now I'm in light. And in between this light and this darkness cast a shadow that keeps me, you not seeing my face. But think about this. The next time you want to place uh, a woman above her proper place or a man below his proper place even though we've been the humanity has been tricked by the evil one remember the fallen ones came to man and took our daughters and then taught our daughters how to do things that were abominable unto man herself and her creator The battle of the sexes must quit. All these arguments amongst brethren and sisters must quit. Or the truth is not in you.
follow that total. I was I was supposed to, I was supposed to share these things with y'all a couple of days ago. And I couldn't seem to put together. I keep getting distracted. <laughs> we tell you guys is this. Man, get back in tune to your authority. Woman, get back in tune to your wisdom. Because any woman know who want to be a goddess or a queen know or a pharaoh know that without no man is an empty home or is an empty womb. The womb is barren. You will not have no children. You will not have nothing without the man. And men, when you mess up your house and you don't clean your windows and you don't do your carpet and, and all that, you don't clean your house up, whatever. Wisdom can't come into that. And you will not have no support of the, of the, uh, of the elect or what you would call the angels or the laws of gravity or the laws of destiny or the laws of power or the laws of seduction and all these things. They will not come. And in fact, the, the, the opposite versions of those will come. And thus many brothers and many kingdoms fall and, 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 and war has become the, the norm because of this. Till next time, this is your servant Omar Hosea saying, if this does not make sense, let us know we should continue to speak or move in silence. In the name of the Most High, Yahallah, and the prophets, and the Spirit of the Holy, the Holy Spirit, I'm going to ask and pray and say thank you. Shalom and peace. And we out of here. One.